As Android 13 Beta 1 is now finally available and we have some great features included in this one. And some of the features which I liked a lot about Android 13, we're going to talk about that in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The video could be interesting for you. If you move on to the features, if you take a look at the first feature which I liked a lot about Android 13 Beta 1 or maybe in Android 13 so far is this. If you check out the notification panel, You'll be able to see that which apps are active in the background and you can stop that very easily by clicking on the stop button and yes this looks something interesting i'm not saying that you can't stop the apps in other android versions of course you need to clear that from recents and you are good to go but this is something different basically and this is what we have in android 13. android 13 uh, maybe developer preview 1 2 also has that feature but yes i like this one another feature which i liked a lot about android 13 so far is the qr code Yes, QR code scanner is quite useful and in other Android versions, I didn't saw that feature in maybe quick settings panel or as a quick settings style and it's included, it's introduced in Android 13. It's just my opinion that I like this feature a lot because in iOS, you can simply scan the QR codes by the default camera app and which you don't have the facility, which facility is not available in Android so far, but with this QR scan, that's quite useful. Another feature, another new change which we have in Android 13, which I liked a lot, is the universal search part. This is about internet search and your whole device search. So that's quite useful. For example, I want to search for calculator as we just saw, it's available. It will also give me some the internet results too. So yes, Google search and a device specific search, everything is already. So basically universal search bar is included and it's included in Android 13 beta one already or only. It's not included in the Android 13 developer previews one or twos, but only in beta three, beta one, sorry. And so that's why that looks quite good. Another change or another new thing which i liked a lot about android 13 is this display size and text it's not a new feature but it's a ui change you can customize the font size you can customize the display size it's up to you things you could already do in android 12 also android 11 in all the android devices but with different ui this time in android 13. you also have the option of a bold text which is which was available previously in accessibility settings but now it's available in this sub menu called display size and text this is what i liked a lot because if you want to use if you want to customize some fonts or display related things you might have those options available in your device in a default things or in simple one menu one sub menu which suits better and this is what it is included in this one these were some basic features or basic changes which i liked there are many there are many more for example the quick settings media player which you have the pixel launcher is what you have pre-installed of course everything is so far it's almost from android 13 the clear all button is also there all android 13 changes and a specific video is already available on our channel so make sure to check out that those animations are quite good but there are many other features too which i didn't introduce it didn't saw you in this video but yes it's not about that i don't like those features but these are the features which i liked a lot maybe more than that but other than else things are same this is all thanks for watching goodbye Like I'm floating through